Now let's do uh, at least one of the two examples of limiting reactant problems from the online homework involving double replacement reactions. That's a correction, online homework. And it says when 15 milliliters of 0 0.10 molar barium chloride aqueous is mixed with 10 milliliters of 0 0.10 molar silver nitrate, what are the concentrations of all aqueous species after the reaction occurs? Now let me start by writing out the reaction for this process, and I'm going to write it out up here because I'm going to save this space down below, and we have the next page too to complete this problem. But uh, So barium chloride plus silver nitrate. Those are my two reactants, and then uh, take the silver ion and the chloride. And according to our solubility rules, silver chloride is one of the very few chlorides that is insoluble and therefore solid. And I will uh, tell you this little hint that silver chloride as, an, as a solid and as an exception to the halides being uh, soluble is one of my favorite examples. So it tends to show up on exams more than others. Uh, now my other product is gonna be barium nitrate. And of course, barium nitrate takes two nitrates. Now this is not balanced. Uh, I see I have two nitrates, so I'm gonna put a two in front of the silver nitrate. That gives me two silver chlorides, and that is balanced. Uh, so we can do stoichiometry with it. Okay, now, um, what are the concentrations of all aqueous species after the reaction occurs? I have volume and molarity of barium chloride. I have volume and molarity of silver nitrate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and find my limiting reactant first. And since I'm interested in the solid phase here, most often I'm going to, and I have uh, one to two stoichiometry, so uh, I have twos in the reaction, I'm gonna have to figure out the smaller amount of silver chloride to determine my limiting reactant. So for barium chloride, I have 15 milliliters. That is 0 0.015 liters. That is uh, of 0 0.10. And that's gonna be moles of barium chloride per liter of solution. And it's a one mole to two mole, one mole barium chloride to two moles of silver nitrate to figure out my moles of silver nitrate that I could make if barium chloride is my limiting reactant. And my answer is 0 0.003 and to two sig figs, 0 0.0030. And uh, I always like three sig figs I know my problem statement, this is unusual, only has two sig figs, but I'm always going to carry three. And that is moles of silver chloride. Similarly, same thing for silver nitrate. Uh, just make everything three sig figs, that's my rule. I have 0 0.100 moles silver nitrate per liter of solution. And it's two to two, two moles silver nitrate for two moles of silver chloride. And just looking at the numbers, I can tell silver nitrate is going to be my limiting reactant. So 0 0.01 times 0 0.1, and the twos cancel out, so I just won't even do them. Okay, so what have we learned so far? We've learned that the amount of silver chloride we can make is right here, and uh, silver nitrate is our limiting reactant. Okay, uh, so and that's you know typical. We're, we're we're not done with the problem, but that's a good start so far. Uh, the next step is to, to reassess what we've been asked. What are the concentrations of all aqueous species after the reaction occurs? Uh, before I do that, so this is where the problem becomes new and different. 
Uh, but now what I'm going to do, so let's call this find limiting reactants. And we've done that. Now we're going to find the initial concentration of all ions. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come back to this step here and we're going to find just the moles of barium chloride. So 0 0.015 liters. And if we weren't doing this for our notes, we could do this in our head, but uh, but since this is our notes and we want to have good notes for you to study from, uh, I'm going to find my moles of barium chloride. 0 0.015 times 0 0.1, 0 0.0015. And barium chloride is a strong uh, electrolyte, so it will break up 100% into ions. So we don't really have the moles of barium chloride, uh, so it uh, breaks up. Um, into... Um, uh, 0 0.0015 moles of barium, and that's barium 2 plus, and 0. Point, well, it's two chlorides, so double it, 0 0.0030 moles of chloride ion. Okay. And all we did was a logical extension from moles of the compound breaking up into moles of the ion. And we've done this before for molarities. So this is a, a new but similar concept. All right, so now on the same page, and then we have a lot more work to do, but we're gonna figure out the same thing for the silver nitrate. And again, we'll write it out. But feel free to do, if you see a similar problem, parts of this in your head especially if you have this limiting reactant work shown. 0 0.00100 moles of silver nitrate. And that is going to equal the same number since it's breaking up into uh, one to one moles silver plus and same number moles NO3 minus because there's only one silver and one nitrate in the compound. Okay, so we're, it's, I guess, so good, more room to solve. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to set up a table with the moles, and um, I'm going to have initial, initial, um, moles, so initial moles, I'm going to have change in moles, and then we're going to have final or end moles. And uh, I'm going to have that for barium. Uh, I'm going to have that for chloride. I'm going to have that for silver. And I'm going to have that for nitrate. Now, and I'm just going to put the numbers from the previous table in this table. I've got 0 0.0015, 0 0.0030, 0 0.0010, 0 0.00100. Okay. Um, and there's a couple things we know, one of which is that um, our silver nitrate is our limiting reactant. And we know that we're going to be making silver chloride solid. And we also know that when we make silver chloride that barium ion and nitrate ion will be spectator ions.
okay? So um, what's going to happen is the change here is going to be due to formation of the solid. due to reaction. And so in our silver nitrate, it's the silver that's reacting, right? We can see up here that barium and nitrate are aqueous on the product side. Barium and nitrate are aqueous on the reactant side. Our total ionic equation would tell us that those two ions are spectators. So let's do a couple things here. One is that there's no reaction for the nitrate. There is no reaction for the barium. Our limiting reactant is silver and it will all react away. And an equal amount of chloride will react away. And what's different about this is we're keeping track of the ions instead of keeping track of the compounds. It's a more detailed analysis. All right, but let's see what we get here. We're going to get easy math for one thing. I'll just add zeros on these to get three sig figs for all of them. And here we have zero. And here we have uh, 0 0.00200. So what have we learned now? We've learned that it is actually silver plus that is entirely reacted away. And that, that it is our limiting reactant, that the chloride is a spectator, or sorry, not the chloride, the nitrate is a spectator. We learned that some of the chloride is reacted away, but some of it is left. And when we come back to the question that we've been asked on the previous slide, it says, what are the concentrations of all species? And so far, we've got the moles. So there's actually two things to do. First thing is figure out our total volume. Second thing is take our moles and divide by our total volume to get our concentrations. So that was find initial concentration of all ions. This would be three find final moles of all ions and um, now I have to go back and think about this previous page I should say find initial moles of all ions because that's what I did I didn't find the initial concentrations I had initial concentrations Okay, so now we find final moles of all ions, and now four is going to be find total volume. And the total volume is going to come back to our problem statement. We have 10 plus 15 milliliters. and convert that into liters. And finally, five is going to be find uh, final concentration, concentrations of all ions. Okay. And let's start with silver. Since there's zero left, concentration of silver plus, is zero. Concentration of each of these other ions is going to be moles divided by liters. And here, 0 0.0015 divided by 0 0.025. I get 0 
uh, zero molarity barium two plus and concentration of chloride will be the 0 0.02 divided by the 0 0.025 0 0.0800 molarity chloride and concentration of nitrate will be 0 0.001 divided by 0 0.025 0 0.0400 like so and these are our final answers to this problem and the second problem is similar and it is a companion problem